Albion today wrapped up their fourth signing of the summer as Swedish international Marcus Rosenberg put pen to paper on a three-year deal. Rumours of Marcus's move began earlier in the summer and the man himself admits that Albion's courtship of him began on the Baggies pre-season tour. I met Dan a few weeks ago in, in Sweden and also coached when the team was in Malmö. So, um, yeah, like you said, we've been uh, talking a, a long time together. So what was it that both Steve and Dan said to you to convince you that this was the place for you to come? Because I understand from what Dan said today, you had a lot of offers. Yeah, I had a lot of offers, but uh, I never played in Premier League, first of all. I played in uh, Love Leagues, but not here. So that's what I really wanted to try. And then I, when I met both of them, it was uh, yeah, it was a perfect chat. And we, uh, they talked a lot about the system and uh, how they want to use me. and. Um, yeah, and then I also talked with Jonas a lot, and he had also a lot of positive things to say about the club, so it was an easy decision in the end. I was going to say, we, we've gathered from your, uh, your couple of days being around the club that you're uh, rather close to Jonas. Was he yeah. a big factor in you coming here? Yeah, no, not that really, but uh, he talked a lot of positive things also, and of course it's positive to have a Swedish guy here, and also Jonas, that's a very good friend of me, come from the same uh, part in Sweden, and uh, yeah... We work together now in the European also, so now it's it's positive that Jonas is here. Um, and you said that, uh, that the talk that you had with Dan and Steve about the style of play uh, pleased you. What what is it? What is is your preferred style of play? Do you like the passing uh, attacking games? Yeah, exactly. When the ball is on the ground, because you're always afraid of some English teams that play uh, uh, long balls and then try to keep uh, take the game from there. So uh, that was positive, that we are trying to play football and come through the midfield and then find the strikers there. So, um, yeah, that's my game. Of course, apart from the one season at, uh, at Rossing Santander, you've spent most of your career in the uh, Bundesliga and the Eredivisie. Do, do you feel like the Premier League is comparable to those two leagues? Uh, not, to, uh, not to Holland, but to uh, Germany, I think so. A little bit tougher here, I suppose, but uh, if you compare to other leagues, I think... Uh, German league is more similar, yeah. And Marcus says the Baggies fans can expect to see a striker who likes to get the ball down and play, with the Swede entirely buying into the footballing principles held by both the club and Steve Clark. No, I try to keep the ball uh, on the ground. I want to have the ball on the ground. I'm pretty fast. Um, uh, not so many balls in the air, and that's not my, uh, my thing. But um, over the years I became better and better also target player. Uh, in Spain I play number 10, but uh, in, in Germany we always play true strikers. National team now I play number 9, as a, so I can play almost everywhere. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's better you see me and then you decide yourself. Um, I mean, you said you're excited to come and have a go at the Premier League. We hear the, the cliché all the time, it's the best league in the world. For you, is it the best league in the yeah, world? Yeah, especially for Swedish people. We always watched the Premier League when we were young and it was always a dream to come here. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a league for a, a Swedish player. I was going to say I've, I've spoke to Jonas a number of times about this. He said in Sweden there's a lot of English football on the television. People yeah. grow up watching it. So was there a particular team you you grew up watching in England? No, not really. But uh, I think I, I changed every time when uh, when <laughs> when uh, when one team was winning. So when I was small, but didn't really have one special team. No. Nonetheless, I mean, everybody knows about Liverpool and to have them on the opening day, I mean, that, that, I imagine that now becomes your target, Liverpool on the opening day of the season. Yeah, exactly. I had six, seven weeks without football, so I'm uh, not as good trained as the, the rest of the squad. So I'm trying to keep up and, uh, and hopefully I can be ready for, for the game against Liverpool.